when you want something from your dad you can't go and meet him because you know that he's angry at you because you're like oh if i go and meet him he'll just shout at me or you've done something bad so you're very cautious about how you walk around him any small thing you don't want to make a mistake at home but then do you know the fun hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is life with sam if you're just tuning in what's up what's up what's up i know it's been a while since i've done like this kind of videos my last video was a vlog and yeah i just wanted to see the feel about how vlogging is and it's nice but god knows i won't lie sometimes i feel like i'm just that kind of person that loves to experience um events rather than just vlogging about it all the time but i will get better hopefully by the grace of god <laughs> but yeah today's video is about something that is really personal to my heart because it's something i really dealt with for a very long time and that's condemnation but before we get into this video go and get your juice your tea your lemon water if you're on a diet your coffee to keep you active while you watch this video yo yo <laughs> So before prior to this time in my life, I used to be a person who I always condemned myself. Like I always thought to myself like, God, I'm so not worthy of God's love. I'm so not worthy of God's grace. I'm just not even worthy of being called a Christian. Like, I mean, you shouldn't even put me as a Christian, rank me with other Christians. Because for me, Christianity for me was that faith that you have to get everything perfect. If not, you're not it. You get that kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you that are watching this video right now have experienced that or you've been told by people that that's what it is that okay you're just a christian so that you can make it into heaven you're just a christian so that you can just pass more like just pass more as they are closing the gate of heaven they're like wait 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 you're like running to the gate you're like wait 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 wait, wait, wait. hey dear michael it's me i'm here i'm here i'm finally here and then you just miss it by like little and then you constantly live in that fear of rapture you constantly live in that fear of ha ah, if they find if they blow the trumpet now my god my own is over my own has finished and to be honest that's living in fear and that's living in condemnation that's you trying to get god by your works that's you trying to sort out everything in your faith by your own works and that does not work in your faith with christ let me just first of all tell you that that as a believer you are saved by grace through faith it is not by your own works it is not by the things that you have done it is not by you fulfilling all the ten commandments and then you feel like hmm i have a right i am righteous i am holy god i am good now but no it's not that as a believer you have faith in god and it's because you have faith in jesus christ that you are now right standing with god it's because you have faith with christ that you are now righteous with god god doesn't expect you to get everything right god doesn't expect you to put yourself in a position where you're so good you're so perfect and then he can now look at you and he can now say Eh, hey, now I can bless this girl. That's not what God expects of us. God is a father and he loves us God knew that we couldn't get it right and that's why he sent Christ But a lot of times we have it turned around We think that we have to get it right before we come before God and I will take you back to this verse Which I really love so much in the Psalms and this was David talking to God and he said a broken and a contrite heart is what you desire you do not desire sacrifices so god doesn't want the works of your hand god wants you just to come broken before him and then he can make you blameless he can make you righteous in christ jesus there's a reason why christ died for your sins if it was so that you could keep all the commandments then to be honest he would have just told you to do it without him dying but he died for your sins because he knew that righteousness with god right standing with god you could never reach the standard god wanted you to reach First of all, you had the sin nature in you. Second of all, there was no possibility for you to even keep the commandments because you just couldn't. Like, because if you had done all the commandments according to the law, I'll put that verse for you. If you do everything but you fail one, it's as well as you doing everything. So you couldn't even be righteous with God. You would have always come before God condemned. But God wanted us to come before him feeling blameless, feeling righteous. You know, let's think about this, right? Think about a person that you really love in your, in your life right now think about someone that you care about so much i can think about one and someone that you really really appreciate so much there's times when i feel like when i have fights with certain friends of mine and then in those very little moments when i have fights with them and i'm feeling so bad like oh my god look at what i did i just cannot go before this person i just cannot do this before this person it stops the flow of our friendship we don't build that relationship from a good place because i'm like that person is angry at me i can't relate with that person and the only funny thing is that because of that i can't really relate with the person because of my mindset about that person even if that person isn't looking at me and they're angry at me because of my mindset about how that person perceives me i just can't relate with that person 
right you must have been in that position before now even if you cannot think about a person think about your parents when you want something from your dad you can't go and meet him because you know that he's angry at you because you're like oh if i go and meet him he'll just shout at me or you've done something bad so you're very cautious about how you walk around him any small thing you don't want to make a mistake at home the funny thing is that's how a lot of us treat god that's how a lot of us treated god before we came into christ god knew that because of our perception of what we thought god expected of us we could not relate with God the way God wanted us to relate with him because we constantly felt condemned guilty before God and that's why he sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins so that in Christ's righteousness Christ's right standing with God we can receive that so it's not by merit it's not based on the things that you're doing it's not based on the fact that you have it all together you're coming before Christ because Christ died for you because God Jesus Christ is right standing with the Father Jesus Christ is blameless with the Father Jesus Christ died for your sins he took the punishment for your sins he went to hell for you so you can come before God blameless you can come before God righteous you don't have to come before God feeling condemned you don't have to come before God feeling like you're the worst sinner that they ever lived like trust me what sin have you done that no man in this world has not done you're not the first you're not the last Paul killed Christians in the Bible yet he still understood he was still the one that was able to write the new almost all of the New Testament most of the New Testament and in most of his letters you will see him talking about the righteousness of God the righteousness of God that comes through faith and not by your works and this was someone that killed a lot of Christians. This was someone that haunted Christians. But yet, if God could forgive a person like that, what more you? Please, what have you done that is not forgivable? So, you're someone right now, you're watching this video like, Oh, I can't come before God. I haven't prayed in months. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. To be honest, you're not the first. There are times when I've been so down and I just felt like I didn't want to do this. There are times when I've been so down and I've not done the things that I knew that God was asking me to do. But then, there is always grace in the arms of your father. If you've not had your fellowship time with God, it doesn't change how he looks at you but what happens is that a lot of times we have a flawed mentality about how God looks at us not just how he looks at us but also how he, we look at him so the problem is with us and not with God but when you read the Bible when you read the scriptures and you see the scriptures telling you that you're blameless before God you are righteous before God I'll put a verse for you in Ephesians that talks about how we are blameless before God till the day that Jesus Christ comes back we're going to be blameless before God we don't have any sin no charge is written against us it's just like in the court you do something bad and then they write a charge against you this is your punishment the truth of the matter is that in Christ Jesus we also had a punishment written to our names but then Christ paid that punishment so we do not have to take a punishment that he has already paid for so we don't have to feel that condemnation already again because he already paid for that that's what Jesus Christ did so if you're someone right now and you're constantly living that battle in your mind of saying that no I don't feel like I'm a Christian you know I, I don't just feel like it I still feel like a sinner you're not standing on the word of God the Bible says that you are saved by grace which comes through faith faith is something that you don't have to see you don't have to feel faith to be honest you know we are not saved by feelings we are saved by faith faith is more than a feeling faith is you believing in something even when you don't feel like it so if you're someone right now you're sitting on your bed you're thinking about how condemned you are let me tell you something get yourself up from that bed and begin to speak the truth about god's word over your life tell yourself i'm blameless in christ jesus i'm holy in christ jesus god has redeemed me i am a child of god i am adopted into god's family stop letting the enemy put lies in your ears about or in your heart about who you are right now because he will constantly tell you things like oh you can never meet up to to God's standards but that's the truth you really cannot meet up to God's standards but that's why he sent Jesus Christ because he knew that you could never do it but then Christ has met up to God's standards and now he has given us that gift of salvation that gift of righteousness that we should now live with God we should now fellowship with God forever and ever and ever for eternity not on our own merit but on his merit on what he did on that cross for us so if you're someone and you're still condemning yourself do you know the truth of the matter is that you are taking God's payment for our sins and you're carrying it and you're just putting it inside the trash it's not humility to call yourself a sinner it is not humility it's a lie from the enemy it is not humility to say oh god but i am a humble sinner oh i'm nothing but a sinner you were a sinner but yes christ died for you and now god calls you blameless you know the bible calls the church saints saints like paul you see paul constantly talking to the church and even the current church you say to the saints at corinth 
And to be honest, if you know anything about the Korean church, you know that those people were really stubborn. I mean, you could you heard of stories in the Korean church about a man sleeping with his father's wife. That's how bad it was. But yet Paul will call them saints because it wasn't a status given to them based on merit, but it was a status given to them based on what Christ merit, based on what Christ had done for them. You are saints because you are blameless before God, because you are righteous before God, because you are right standing before God. So get up from your bed, approach your father with boldness because that's what God expects you to do. So I hope this video blessed somebody. If you like this video, make sure you share this video. Somebody out there right now is going through condemnation, beating themselves up about how they are not doing what they are meant to do, they are not doing what they, the things they are meant to do all these kind of things if you're a believer right now you're feeling like oh i'm not even praying as much as i should have prayed or i'm not winning souls as much as i should have won souls don't let that stop you god loves you god loves you so make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on that bell button so that when you do come you get notification about when i post so god bless you and have a blessed day bye bye